Praise God, a devotional reading from The Upward Look. I will mention the loving kindnesses of the Lord and the praises of the Lord according to all that the Lord hath bestowed on us and the great goodness toward the house of Israel. Isaiah 63 verse 7 when a sense of the loving kindness of God is constantly refreshing the soul, it will be revealed in the countenance by an expression of peace and joy. It will be manifest in the words and works, and the generous Holy Spirit of Christ, working upon the heart, will yield in the life a converting influence upon others. Have we not reason to talk of God's goodness and to tell of His power? When friends are kind to us, we esteem it a privilege to thank them for their kindness. How much more should we count it a joy to return thanks to the friend who has given us every good and perfect gift? Then let us, in every church, cultivate thanksgiving to God. Let us educate our lips to praise God in the family circle. Let our gifts and offerings declare our gratitude for the favors we daily receive. In everything, we should show forth the joy of the Lord. David declares, I love the Lord because he hath heard my voice and my supplications. Because he hath inclined his ear unto me, therefore will I call upon him as long as I live. God's goodness in hearing and answering prayer places us under heavy obligation to express our thanksgiving for the favors bestowed upon us. We should praise God much more than we do. The blessings received in answer to prayer should be promptly acknowledged. We grieve the Spirit of Christ by our complaints and murmurings and repinings. We should not dishonor God by the mournful relation of trials that appear grievous. All the trials that are received as educators will produce joy. The whole religious life will be uplifting, elevating, ennobling, fragrant with good words and works. Let the peace of God reign in your soul, then you will have strength to bear all suffering, and you will rejoice that you have grace to endure. Praise the Lord, talk of His goodness, tell of His power, sweeten the atmosphere that surrounds your soul, praise with the heart and soul and voice, Him who is the health of your countenance, your Savior, and your God. This was your devotional reading. May the grace of God be with you as we await His second coming. God bless.